Hey, happy Tuesday, everyone. I'm Meredith. I'm here with our message for the 18th of October, 2022. We're using our trusty Rider Weight deck by Jamie Sawyer, one of my favorite artists, as you've heard me say multiple times. We're going to do a super quick reading. I'm just going to cut the deck and we are going to pull cards right off the top of the deck and see what's what today. All right, first, hey, <laughs> happiest card in tarot, there's the sun, yes, thank you. <laughs> what comes next? Seven of coins, ooh, I like this. This is really beautiful. This is a keep the faith message right here, if I ever saw one. Uh, I've been very attracted to this deck lately because... You know, it's it's a it's an original Rider weight deck. It's traditional tarot, and I have so many artsy decks. And I notice that as I read the cards from my artsy decks, I often say, "In traditional tarot, <laughs> the card looks like." And here we have in traditional tarot the sun shining on the harvest that's on the vine, and you know the character on the card looks potentially a bit impatient, wanting to pick the fruit, wanting to pick those pentacles right off the vine. The sevens in tarot are about bringing heaven to earth and the process of creating heaven on earth for ourselves has everything to do with what we're investing and spending energy on within our own heart space. How are we planting the seeds of our pure, raw, love, bliss, joy, happiness into the fertile soil on offer to us in this rich environment, right? And how do we bring the sun to that? And how do we keep the faith? Some of us at times look like the character on this card. Some of us feel like it's just a super rainy day. In truth, the sun's shining on everything in our heart space and I know this feeling quite well and I have experienced it in recent days I have found myself uh, confronting uh, a lack of faith in some of my own heart space seed thoughts planted seeds harvest on my own vine over here so these cards are quite poignant and as I have been in conversation with some of my nearest and dearest people. Uh, I've heard similar, similar conversations. I know I say that often. I just mention it because there can be a theme in the energy field that we are inhabiting at this time. And there can be the cosmic influence. It's why we talk about the retrograde planets occasionally and the cosmic influence on earth, the solar flares, the earthquakes, the volcanoes, you know, these create tremendous ripple effects. Even if we're thousands of miles away from any earthquake that's ever happened, you know, that vibration, that frequency is going to travel through the ley lines of this planet and we are going to feel it in some way. So I bring this up and I share these, these experience energies, messages from the cards because the cosmic influence is tremendous and when we encounter something that is a contrast, a challenge, when doubt creeps in, when ego rises, we need to bring the sun. It is our, it is our spiritual journey work to bring the sun, to bring the sun to shine on what's what our harvest is. So all these other influences may have some sway. Our question to ourselves <laughs> can be how committed are you to the love of you? Being the love that you are and supporting uh, all of your seed thoughts. So these two cards are super beautiful for us. This is a keep the faith, absolutely keep the faith. The sun is shining on your harvest that is still blossoming and ripening on the vine. Yeah. And then we have the three of swords. We had the three, excuse me, three of wands. We had the three of wands in yesterday's reading, and I felt like we were looking back through the three of wands at the page that started our reading from yesterday. 
and we were seeing ourselves at an earlier phase of our spiritual journey work and we were getting a look at the gorgeous foundation we were standing on and we are standing on and the horizon that is fulfilling. So the message repeats for us today. So no matter what you're seeing and how your egos are being engaged, <laughs> I am paying attention. This is a great message to myself. So paying attention to how my own ego is being engaged, how your ego may be engaged with the challenges of what you see before you. Sometimes the landscape could look barren. However, there's all this fruit on the vine. There's all this gorgeous sunshine. There's a lot of energy working to our highest and greatest outcome. I feel like another one here. <laughs> wow. How interesting. So I just watched a, a video, one of my favorite tarot readers, and this Eight of Swords card came up. What happens when your ego rises? Just check in with yourself. What happens? Do you put yourself in a self-imposed prison? Do you go back down some negative memory lane? I did this. Just yesterday I did this. <laughs> And I had one of those moments I had to look in the mirror and be like, okay, get a hold of yourself, woman. And let's take a look at what's true. The sun is shining on what's true. What's true is everything that we've invested in this gorgeous harvest that's blossoming on the vine. What's true is this vision that we hold in our heart space. What is also true that our ego at times rises and we trap ourselves in mental gymnastics and vulture thoughts. What do we do about this? We show ourselves unconditional love, compassion, and kindness. That's what's required. And then we extend that. We expand that out to our nearest and dearest people as well. Because it is likely that in some way, contrast has been a chord that was struck for them as well. Could be from the cosmic influence. So let's lead with unconditional love compassion, and kindness, most especially for ourselves. Let that be our sunlight. Allow this to shine on our harvest. Allow this to illuminate with brilliant clarity our horizon, our solid foundation that we are building upon. And let's also let the sun shine on whatever doubts and fears rise for us. And let's bring the love. <laughs> Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck and how the universe is supporting us. Here's the fool. Here's the inner adventure. This is go forward without fear of con consequence. This is if you encounter yourself wrapped in a circle of swords, know that you can move all eight spring movement and momentum ahead like the fool. Tear off the blindfold. You know, undo your hands, tear off the blindfold, and walk forward without fear of consequence. The universe really does have your back. Yes. <laughs> Here's one of my favorite knights, the Knight of Swords, the one we call uh, Mr. Impetuous here. He does have tunnel vision at times, though I feel in this case, it's wise to have it. Stay connected to the highest and greatest potential outcome. This or something even better. Allow for surprise and delight to come rushing in like the fool, like the knight of swords. Oh, gorgeous. Look what's next. Mm -hmm. The ace of cups. Do we need anything else? I don't think so. The overflow. One of the happiest aces you could ever turn over in tarot. Aces, as I've mentioned, neutralize challenging energy. So let's yield to the divine energy of pure, raw, blissful, loving love. <laughs> the energy of love itself. That may have not been so eloquent. I know you understand where I'm going with it. Let's yield to love. Let's allow cosmic love to flow right into the palm of our hands. Let's live in this overflow. Witness whatever shows up in your eight of swords. Witness. 
Do not become a part of. Do not make it real. Do not even engage it in a way that anchors it or makes it real. Look instead to the light, to the illumination, to the love that you are and continue to pour that on no matter what you face, no matter what kind of solar flares, volcanoes, earthquakes we are having in our own sphere of influence on an energetic level, let alone what's coming from the planet and the cosmos itself. Stand in front of all of that like the sun, like the love that you are and shine on your vision, your dream, your goal. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I needed that little pep talk from my own self. <laughs> I'm going to trust that it is speaking to all of you in a similar way. Let's take a look at angel answers. Put a question to the deck if you wish. Allow the cards to confirm something for you. Oh, I like this. Not the right time. Now, we don't deal in time so much here on the channel. However, there are a number of timing cards in the Angel Answers deck. And not the right time for me in this scenario says slow your roll. There is energy working on our behalf that is unfolding and in great momentum on our behalf. So not the right time to me says allow, accept. That can get uncomfortable. That can engage the ego. We are very, uh, or have been at one time or another, programmed for instant gratification. Not the right time says that the universe is building on, on your dream, on your goal, and your foundation in an ace of cups, in a sun kind of way. So... It's not the right time to necessarily take action, allow the universe to take its action. That's what's coming off the bottom of the deck. This is what we don't necessarily see. There's a swift moving energy in motion on our behalf that is in alignment with the fulfillment of what's in heart space. Allow that to happen. Next. <laughs> yes, right? Because there are big, happy changes unfolding. So your job, your work, is to stay connected to your happy. Oh my gosh, how perfect. No need to worry. What do you do with worry? Validate it. Look it right in the eye. Say thank you for showing up. I appreciate you showing me where I have a lack of faith, where I can strengthen myself. Thank you so much. Here's a whole truckload of my unconditional love. Yeah. All right. From the, I think it's the Shaman's Dream Oracle, How Is Our Soulful Presence? Speaking to our waking consciousness. This one is called the crossing <laughs> initiation. Yeah, initiate yourself into the limitless love that you are. Meet yourself in the middle if you're finding uh, an eight of swords moment cropping up here and there. Meet yourself, compromise, come to the heart of the matter, be the love that you are and shower it upon yourself and continue on. Have a beautiful Tuesday, everyone. Peace, love, namaste.